Hi, I'm Dave Granger, and I'd like to welcome you to the Guilds Classics. This is a YouTube channel that showcases the various skills, talents, and crafts that the employees here use to restore people's cars. Al and I'm the lead metal worker here at the Guild and today we are going to be balancing the grinding wheels on a couple of bench grinders um, because uh, almost everybody has a bench grinder somewhere in the garage or in the basement and when you flip it on it normally vibrates and that's actually not the bench grinder 98% of the time that those are the wheels that are out of balance um, it's pretty standard Anytime you put new wheels on, you have to balance the wheels on the bench grinder. Once you do that, it tends to run perfectly. Um, it won't vibrate, and it does a much better job of grinding things. It's quieter, it's safer, and it all lasts longer. So the bench grinder wheels are cast. They're actually made of usually aluminum oxide, sometimes silicon carbide, mixed with a binder, and they're uh, cast in a mold. And when they come out of that mold, they're not necessarily perfectly round or perfectly balanced. So when you get one of these, what you want to do is you want to set up a relatively simple setup. Um, I've used a uh, machinist surface plate for this, um, but you can use any known flat surface, say the top of a table saw, a flat workbench, whatever. You want to level it, and then you want to find a piece of steel shaft or cold roll bar that fits perfectly in the arbor hole. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that shaft through the arbor hole and then you're going to set the wheel on a set of straight edges that are leveled. And you're going to allow the heaviest point of the grinding wheel to pull itself down to the bottom. Then you take a marker and mark that. You know that is the heaviest point in the wheel. What you want when you get the wheel balanced is to have no single point be the heaviest point and when you spin it and stop it for it not to creep anywhere but just to stay exactly where it is because it's more or less perfectly balanced. Uh, this process that we're doing right now is called static balancing. So once we've determined that one, our wheel is not in balance and two, what the lowest point or the heaviest point in the wheel is, we're going to need some balancing weights. Um, unlike a wheel, we can't just stick lead weights on. Uh, so we're going to make up some metal flanges that have a lobe on them. And because we know we've got one heavy point on the wheel and two adjustable flanges with lobes, we can adjust those flanges until we get an absolutely or very close to absolutely perfectly balanced wheel. To make those flanges, I'm going to use some 8th inch material. Depending on how big your wheels are and how much weight you need on them, you can make it out of 16 gauge, you make it out of what you have around. You just have to make sure that the stack up isn't going to be so thick that your grinder nut isn't going to fit on any longer. In this case, we're making about an eighth inch steel that we had laying around. I'm going to mark them out on a sheet and just bandsaw them out. Once they're bandsawed out, I'm going to deburr them on the belt sander. At that point, I'll be able to mount them onto the stone and then balance the wheel. One little trick when you're mount mounting them onto the stone, uh, because nothing's holding them in place, the weights are going to want to shift around. So I use just a little modeling clay stuck in between the wheel and the two flanges does a really good job of holding everything in place um, without affecting the balance and it allows you to scoop things around without it then moving as you balance the wheels. So we're going to put a couple little tiny tiny dabs of modeling clay on, squish everything together and use our little stub arbor to balance the wheel in place and we're going to adjust the lobes around back and forth until we get a nicely balanced wheel. What I like to do is try to keep the lobes sort of across from one another and see that my lowest point is always that black line that was uh, there before and as I slowly move adjust each lobe up and up and up and up at a certain point I'm going to get to a point where I'll have moved my center of balance of the wheel right on center of the arbor and it's not going to have a single place that it wants to fall down. I hope this is going to help uh, help some people out there because, again, bench grinder is a totally ubiquitous thing. So many people have one in their garage or their basement, and rarely, actually, are they all that useful because you flip them on and they start shaking. So, you know, you can make a set of balancing flanges. There are things that you can find 
um, that are actual products that people make uh, for balancing wheels, but I find that making just one set of flanges, if you've got any metalworking sort of stuff around, is the easiest way to do it and allows you to you know, balance a whole bunch of stuff uh, really cheap. And it's a really good process going through and learning how to do it because it's applicable to so many other things. If you enjoyed that, we would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And uh, well, if you'd like to listen to me drone on and on and on, you can go to our podcast listed below.